everybody welcome to another youtube video i'm Hi. so excited to be back this is my sister she is in a video with me finally got one of my family members to do a youtube video with me and this time it is our thanksgiving um special well video it's um we're making seafood dressing and we wanted to share it with you guys um so we hope that you enjoy the recipe and also make sure that if you are not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe make sure you comment below let us know um, what your favorite thanksgiving meal is and if you plan on making seafood dressing or any kind of dressing stuffing versus dressing comment below and let us know yes come cook with us definitely Jiffy cornbread mix and what does it say? It says this one package of this, one egg and a third cup of milk. So it's just the standard, ooh, the standard cornbread mix recipe. And of course, cause it's Thanksgiving, I went in the store and they didn't have any more Jiffy left, so I had to buy Miss Martha White. I've never used Martha White before. Have you used Martha White before? Mm -hmm. Me either, but I know her products are, I've heard her products oh, are wait, good. Oh wait, I might have. But I've never used it. But they both say preheat to 400, so that's good. Like for muffins. Yeah, okay, well this was all they had for, what you call it, for cornbread, so. Miss Martha White, a little, a 12, 12 ounce little thing of milk because we don't drink milk and this is whole milk. So, I mean, it should be nice and, you know, rich, rich for sure. But, um, okay, how do we open this? So, and I need to prick it the oven. this in here and then a third cup of milk a third of a cup a third of a cup and so our grandma always makes stuffing and she would use a fork i'm sure she would tell me to eat not stuffing so dressing or stuffing it's i think it's a difference right i think so There's i don't think i know what stuffing is i think stuffing people actually put it inside their turkey like they stuff the turkey i don't know what you're talking about what are you serious mm. like why can't you use dressing for that because I'll who be wants to put dressing inside of the turkey? You're going to eat it with the turkey. Yeah, but so with the difference between dressing and stuffing. So I do not know the difference. The difference between dressing and stuffing. So I think that stuffing is what you put inside of the bird. Okay. Like you, you know, people will, and Mama will also probably tell me to crack this in a separate bowl <laughs> so that you don't get the shells in there, but I didn't do that. Sorry, Mama. So our grandma, our grandma, we call her Mama. So she already made the other dressing, which is chicken flavored, and we're making the seafood version. So if you hear us say Mama, we're talking about our grandma. Oh. But, um... So yeah, people put stuffing inside of their turkey, like the raw turkey. Like you take, you know, you got the raw turkey out and you, Is you say so? 
I'm telling you. And then you um you put it inside of your what you call it? I just thought it was made of the same stuff. No. And two, I think stuffing is kind of like what's that stuff that people that people um, buy at the store? What is it called? The, uh, stove top. stove top stuffing. So this is no stove top stuffing over here. This is real. We making this like from scratch. The only thing we're not making from scratch is the cornbread because you know if we had some cornmeal and stuff, we could have made the cornbread from scratch. But we're not doing all that. So in but, other words, stuffing is nasty. Dressing is good. Stuffing is nasty. <laughs> stuffing is nasty. Dressing is good. She said it, not me. Sorry, stove top lovers. This, yeah, stuffing is not good. It is not. Sorry. Stuffing is not good. Another tip, I don't think it's on the side of the, oh yeah, wait, no, it's not on the side of the thing, but our Southern grandmother taught us you put oil, you put some oil inside of your cornbread mix because again this is not I was trying to be healthy but we're not being healthy anymore so we got to make this good right. and buttery and rich oh sorry so yeah so we're gonna mix up our cornbread dress cornbread mix which is just a jiffy mix from the grocery store and it's one package of the mix one egg a uh, third cup of milk, but I put a little bit more in it because I wanted it to be super moist. And I put a little bit of oil in it. And so you're just gonna stir this up till it's a nice batter consistency. So you get your little pan, whatever pan you bake in, and then your stick of butter and then you're going to all the bottom of the pan but also if you don't want to do that it's another trick you just take your oil pour it down in the pan like that and you just move it around till you oil the bottom of your pan so you can either use butter or oil to Grease in or grease the bottom of your pan. Oh, and there goes our oven. So we're gonna take our cornbread and pop it over in the oven. According to the the box, it's supposed to be in a 400 degree oven for 15 15 to 20 minutes so i'm gonna start it out with 15 minutes we'll see if it's done and then if it's not we'll cook it some more so the first pan what is your favorite food for thanksgiving yeah asking me yeah um the dressing and the dress. also and very so oh my gosh y'all so this girl <laughs> the other there is giving the other thanksgiving this girl bought a million cans of, a million cans of cranberry cranberry sauce. Sauce. like she bought one can per person <laughs> i think it probably was like i don't know five or six people at thanksgiving they were on like, sale i can just leave them there plus bought, you know, cranberry sauce it can just go so fast like you never know sometimes no one eats it and then sometimes everyone eats it. but i think you only need one 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 can and then no. i can eat a can by myself i mean cranberry sauce is good and i feel like it's you only good. eat you only eat cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving. Like, who else eats That's it unfortunate. at uh, any other time? We of need the year. to normalize eating cranberry <laughs> sauce year round. Yeah, normalize cranberry yes, sauce? Yes, normalize it. Do that it is now. Funny. Make that happen. Because it is still good. Yeah. It is good, but you bought like enough for. Like, we could have given it away. <laughs> so, needless to say, I mean, you know, cranberry sauce doesn't really go bad for a while. So, we had cranberry sauce for days. For a little bit, yeah. Well, for years. Like, we didn't, they didn't, my mom and dad didn't need to, our mom and dad didn't need to buy any more. Yeah, they did 
strawberry sauce because somebody <laughs> bought like multiple cans and I feel like you only need I got it on sale. Like I said, it might not have been. I don't know. We didn't need any, so we didn't have to buy any, but it might not have been on sale. If that's what you <laughs> said. I was like, girl, that was so funny. Everybody was like, girl, why you got so much cranberry sauce? My favorite dish for Thanksgiving is dressing too. Like it's something about living in the South. And like our, we eat dress, dressing, dressing. Mm -hmm. Like we don't eat stuffing. People that eat stuffing, I'm just like, why? Mm -hmm. And so I think my favorite is, um, is dressing. And you know, like we said, our grandma typically does her dressing with chicken. It's a chicken based dressing and ours is seafood based. So I found this recipe on Facebook like I think I was looking back today because I needed to make sure I had all the ingredients and it's been about four years so this is like my contribution and now since she's helping me it's our contribution to Thanksgiving dinner and so it's been about four years and this one is like spicy um, it has like some Creole seasoning in it so it's got a little kick to it but um, I think people in like Louisiana and probably well new orleans and probably like i don't know other places they probably eat like a seafood type of dressing and i remember seeing on the news like years ago that like some people have chicken some people have you know the seafood some people have chitlins. this girl said that you eat chitlin yes i have had chitlin dressing it is so good that sounds nasty. Mm -hmm. I've never eaten chicken. Don't knock it until you try it. It's very good. And it's probably like a South Carolina. I'm sure it's a South Carolina mm -hmm. thing, but mm -hmm. no, I never so had. I'll try to put whatever meat you want to, and depending on which region of the country you're from, you might make yours a little bit differently. Um, but here in the South, it's traditionally chicken based, which is a similar recipe as this one. But like I said, we're just substituting out the seafood um, for the chicken. And just the seasonings is a little bit different, but chicken is what we grew up on. It's delicious. My grandma always makes it and it's amazing. Um, so I like dressing. I love turkey. So our dad fries the turkey every year and it's like so good. So fried turkey is the bomb. And I mean, I don't think we eat, well, sometimes we have turkey for Christmas, but we don't really eat turkey like that other than Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, so we kind of enjoy it, you know, while we have it. But yeah, I think those are my favorite. And cranberry sauce. Cranberry yeah. sauce is good too. Got it. Um, Collard greens. Yes. One year, our mom got it catered and she had this okra perlo. That thing was so good. Well, okra first of all, if you don't, you don't remember that? Mm -mm. It was so good. Well, if you don't know what perlo is, you're not from the South. And so perlo is kind of like rice and it has like different meats or whatever in it. In this case, it was okra. You don't remember that? I don't remember. It was so good, and that's more, we're more so the low country of South Carolina, so Oprah, Charleston area, and that Okra Perlo was like amazing. Yeah, she got it, Kay. I did not get any. It was so good. You missed out, girl. So we have some cooked shrimp here, and I'm recording on two different devices, so I got to show it on both. So we got some shrimp. Some cooked shrimp. Then we're gonna pour our shrimp in there into the bowl. We have our onions. We're gonna pour in here. Here, this is what my sister has so professionally chopped up for us. These are the red peppers, yellow peppers, celery, and we also have some green onions coming. So we want to make sure it's nice and colorful. We're going to saute these until they're like translucent and they're softened up. Our vegetable broth.
I didn't measure. I just poured until I felt like stopping. So I did not measure. Which is probably bad. And another thing I like to do that I think people need to do more of as they cook. And I have a spatula. I need to get a better cooking utensil. But people need to season their food as they cook. Seasoning your food as you cook is so important. So we have some sage here. I call it like layering your seasoning. It's so important. To layer your seasonings. That's why people's food like it's bland because they don't layer their seasoning like onion powder layer your seasoning and whatever you cook you should be seasoning every step of the way we've got some creole seasoning we're going to use a good bit of this because it's a Creole kind of inspired dish. We've got some Old Bay. Like you can't make seafood without Old Bay. Black pepper. Oh, well, I have these bigger, the ground black pepper. The flakes are a little bit bigger. And then a little bit of salt. We don't need a lot of salt because the other ingredients, like the vegetable broth has salt in it. We're going to be using cream of mushroom soup that has salt in it. So we don't need a lot of salt, but I like to add salt to taste, but not a lot to make anybody's blood pressure go up. And that's it. And so we're going to saute these down, put a lid on it and let it cook down. And we'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to just brush it all up into fine pieces and this is how you make your dressing so all those years of us sitting there watching our grandma it's paying off we actually paid attention to her what do you think? Did you pay attention or was it just me? I was going to say that <laughs> you were paying attention. All those years of you paying attention was paying attention. I was paying attention to my grandma cooking, not my you sister. I was watching TV, eating snacks. <laughs> <laughs> she was watching TV, eating snacks. That's funny. You were. And I was in the kitchen. I wanted to know what was yes. going on and you everything. Did. Yes, you did. Oh, what's going on? But yeah, so we've got one pan. Oops, this is one pan of cornbread already crushed up. And then the other pan is Martha White um, cornbread that we've never cooked before, but hopefully it comes out right. So we're gonna crunch that up into this bowl as well. And then this will be used for our cornbread dressing. This is super easy. Like, I feel like we've only been going for like an hour and it hasn't taken that long. We're like half the way there. So that's all you have to do with your cornbread. We're gonna let this sit and kind of chill out. And then I'm going to show you guys the fun part, adding in the crab meat to our mixture, adding in this green onions, that little Miss Slowpoke is <laughs> cutting up over here and the green, the cream of mushroom. Um, and then we're going to assemble all of it. And like, that's basically it. So one pan of cornbread down. And as far as serving sizes, I mean, we're making it for about, I don't know, it's four of us. And then my grandma, my aunt, and then I was also going to give a little bit to my other aunt. So about eight people. So that's why I'm doing two packets of cornbread to kind of make sure that we have enough. But um, in previous years, I have cooked this for other people and like was out here like a whole catering service. Yes. But we're not doing that this year. So <laughs> no. Like, are you All right, so back over at our pot. So we have a nice little boil going on over here can you hand me that spoon thank you thank you so we've got everything cooking up over here 
we have again the shrimp and all of our veggies that include green onions yellow and orange peppers and celery and this is in some vegetable some vegetable broth and then we also have our cream of mushroom soup that we're going to pour about half of a can well no we can do the whole can of cream of mushroom soup in here and then next we're going to add our can of crab meat um i've always used this it's literally like the crab meat that you get out of okay noise it's literally the crab meat that you get out of like the actual uh i don't know the crab what do you call it the it's like snow crab it's like literally like the actual crab meat but of course if we have like fresh crab meat we would use that but this is fresh too so hey it works that you could eat this by itself we've eaten it before just to taste it and to make sure it's like seasoned well and it tastes really good so you gotta make sure because everything in this is now cooked the crab meat is cooked the shrimp is cooked those things are cooked your vegetables they've already been simmering and like the cream of mushroom soup of course it'll cook down in here and yeah everything in here is cooked so nothing in here is raw i think that's also why the recipe is super easy so um, you could like eat this as a nice little soup and then you just want to stir of course we were going to do this on the stove but we decided to bring it over here because everything again is already cooked in here at this point She's so beautiful. <laughs> we're just incorporating all of that good seasonings and crab meat and shrimp mm. and peppers and onions you just want to stir it all in there here you want to keep stuff just want to get it nice and stir it up in there look at that Corn bread dressing. No stuffing over here. Look at that. And get down deep in that pot. When our grandma used to do this, she would put on gloves and literally use her so hands good. or no gloves because it was us eating it. So, you know, she was still sanitary. But she used to work in the food industry. And so she would um use her hands and make sure that that dressing was nice sure and is. um mixed through because you don't she's always say, i don't want no dry dressing like you want it to be moist and sometimes if this is because the bread absor absorbs liquid sometimes i'll add in some vegetable broth just to make sure that it has enough liquid in it um but we might be okay but we'll see as we keep going but you don't want it to be too dry um because after we do all this then you would put it in the oven um and put a little bit of butter on it just to cook it or you can cook it on the stove top with a cast iron skillet because you want to brown it and get a nice crust on it but this we're this is like all we're going to do for tonight because we're going to put it in the freezer until um tomorrow when we travel home and then we'll have it for thanksgiving day have our dressing here and our nice little forks so let's eat it mm -hmm. wait we got to get another we'll, we'll eat that and then we got to get another angle of us digging it's pretty hot i know it is hot Mm. It's good. It is really good. We got some shrimp on there. Oh. The Not dressing, good. the veggies, the crab meat. Y'all, it's right here. It's good. It's so good. Mmm. good. It is good. Mm -hmm. It is really good. It is good. And like people ask me to make this um, throughout the year, and I usually tell them no. <laughs> so this is like the only time 
I get to eat it. So, you know, it makes it special that this one time of the year we get seafood dressing. Like people are like, can you make it for me? And it's like mm -hmm. March. And I'm like, no, I only make it for Thanksgiving. It is so good. That's the Yeah, so mm, wow. I love you. you. Kiss the chef. Thank <laughs> you. So yeah, I think it's so important. Keep eating. So um <laughs> I think it's so important to record yourself this Thanksgiving doing videos, cooking recipes, because that's how you pass down traditions. Um, our grandma is what, 94, 95? Uh, 95. And so we've grown up watching her cook. So we kind of have, I have, and like some of my aunts and cousins, this one doesn't necessarily like cook, but we have like tried to remember her recipes and some of them she's got them um, written down and others I want to record some videos with her as well because she is 95 and so that's how traditions are passed down for years to come we want you know our gen generations behind us to be eating some really good Thanksgiving food or just regular Sunday food um, or just anything so I think it's so important to capture those uh, memories and just to have them because like why not? So happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope that you eat some good food. Take some time to spend with your family and friends and loved ones. For those people that aren't going to be with family and friends, um, I hope that you find something special to do and start a new tradition this Thanksgiving. And I just hope that everybody has peace and they're surrounded by love and good people. And so thank you guys for watching another video. Um, I can't wait to record more videos, including this one right here so i can't wait to have my sister and more videos and just to continue to see our channel grow and grow and grow and grow and all the things i want to become a youtuber because i watch youtube a lot so i can't wait to see where we go next so happy thanksgiving everybody thanks for watching happy thanksgiving bye